In this video, I'm going to be checking out No Country for Old Men from 2007. I have never seen this movie. And the reason I'm checking it out now is because Javier Bardem was in The Little Mermaid playing King Triton. So people are like, oh, he looks so bored in The Little Mermaid. You should see him in No Country for Old Men. He's so good there. So here we are now. I'm going in blind. I don't know anything about this film. So smash like, subscribe <clears throat> if you're brand new here, and let's go. I was sheriff of this county when I was 25 years old. Hard to believe. 25? My grandfather was a long man. You can't help but compare yourself against the old timers. Can't help but wonder how they'd operated these times. Told me that he'd been planning to kill somebody for about as long as he could remember. Said if they turned wow. him out, he'd do it again. Wow. So he knew he was going to hell. Be there in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting this to be a Western or something. Then I see cars and I'm like, oh, okay, it's not it's not a Western. Well, you can look at it when you get in. Down there in a bit. Oh, shit, he's about to do something very bad. I honestly don't think I have ever watched a scene in a movie where someone was choked for that long. I don't think so. I don't think I've seen that long. No. Oh. My Lord, I would have not anticipated that happening. This guy reminds me so much of Ethan Hunt. Is that his name? Ethan Ethan Hawk? That actor. Man, even the dog was not spared. Oh what we go. He's asking for water, I think. I ain't got no water. Ha! I was right. Even though I don't speak the language, I just had an idea. Ooh la la, what do we have here? There he is. Is he waiting for noon to reach? Because when noon reaches, the shadow will be like very small and he'll have to leave or something. Oh, oh, oh. He gone. Ooh, they look clean. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So basically it was what? Some sort of drug deal gone wrong. And then, the yeah, drug deal gone wrong and then one of them made off with the money. But didn't make it far because of his injuries. I'm assuming that's what happened. What's in the satchel? It's a bowl of money. That'll be the day. <laughs> when you tell someone the truth and they don't believe you. Willing. What? Quit your hollering. If I don't come back, you tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead, Llewellyn. Bah. Seriously, he... <laughs> he seriously went to take the water now to that dude. Did he genuinely expect him to be alive? Like, bleeding out happens in hours. Oh no. Run, Forrest! Run! <laughs> Literally, it's like, just like in Forrest Gump, being chased by a car and then running away. Oh no. Oh no. I know I would be dead because I can't swim that fast against a dog. He's getting closer. How much? 69 cent. And the gas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? Is something wrong? With what? With anything. Is that what you're asking me? What time do you close? Now, we close now. No, it's not <laughs> time. What time do you close? 
generally around dark, at dark. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Sir? This is my wife's father's place uh, originally. <laughs> you married into it. <laughs> <laughs> He's so offended by the idea of marrying into success. Same. Call it. Heads. You know, we need to know what we're calling it for here. You need to call it. Well done. Oh, thank God. That's also what I picked. Sir? Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky quarter. Who cut his tires? Mexicans, I guess. One us. Give me that. Oh, la la! Ay, ay, ay! Ooh, me, 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 me! <laughs> it happened so quickly, I wasn't ready. <laughs> it happened so quickly, I wasn't ready. That guy! Where is he from? Like, where have you seen him often? Maybe he, he's probably the one who was narrating. Was he the one narrating in the opening? You can, you can just comment below and tell me. And smash like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Man killed the Mars deputy, took his car, killed that man on the highway, swapped for his car, and now here it is, and he swapped again. I know this truck. Belongs to a fella named Moss. Lou Allen Moss? I think we're looking at more than one fracas. Execution here, Wild West over there. I am so curious to understand how that, that tank oxygen gun thing works. <laughs> He's deciding to make himself home. Sir, I ain't at liberty to give out no information about our residents. Where does he work? I knew it. He's just going to keep repeating until you answer. <laughs> Give out no information. Just giving her this idea of you're only alive because there's a witness. Look, I'll call you in a couple days. Promise? Yes, I do. I'm still sweating. Oh, Sheriff! We just missed him! Yep. Looking for a man who has recently drunk milk. <laughs> That's a good one. Take me to a motel. Got one in mind? Someplace cheap. You tell me. Every time he opens that suitcase of money, I'm like, mm, what a gorgeous sight. Now that it's inside there, how will you retrieve it? He has like this sociopathic, straight, emotionless face. Oh no. Am I missing something? What is this device that's doing? Ping! 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 Maybe you can just comment below and explain it to me. What exactly is it like? Where is the signal coming from? <laughs> this is actually a very, a very nice scene. Is it coming from the suitcase? This man has so many gadgets. Oh, so that was the idea, okay. Oh Lord, oh Lord, jeez. Can someone just go into the comments and explain to me how that gun works? Mm -hmm. how, how Javier Bardem's gun works? Oh, you can see drug marks. Yeah, sure, I know him every which way. Oh, look, it's the, the dude. He's in Hunger Games, he's in that movie for the magicians. Now you see me. Last year. Hmm? So I'm pretty sure of the date. Did I ask you to sit? Yeah, he's a psychopathic killer, but so what? I'm just playing them around. Ha! I knew it. There's some sort of tracking device. Oh no. 
right before he destroys it, he's already been found. Oh, that person at the reception, he, he's dead. I'm sure he's dead. My stomach literally fell into my butt. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't gonna hurt you. I need you to drive me on out of here. Ah, oh, Father of God, why? Hey, enjoy. Uh, I actually thought she'd get away, honestly. Woo! Ah, thought he had the drop on him. Need 500 bucks for that coat. Let me see the money. With that beer too. All <laughs> oh, right. Uh, yeah, it's going to it's going to numb the pain. How much were those boys Kenyans? Because that's what a Kenyan would do to you. <laughs> I'm from Kenya, by the way. If you're watching this and you don't know me, I'm from Kenya. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> that guy's like, well, that doesn't look <laughs> out of the usual. There's another drunkard old fool. <laughs> the music ended. Medico. Oh, so he also got hit. Okay. Oh boy. Literally people are just passing an open flame just like that. Let me guess. He got hit and the bullet is still inside. He just he just put in the end like mm -hmm. no, no facial expression. Whatsoever, not even a wince. Wait a minute, how did he even get this room? Did they did they give a room to some guy who was limping? And it didn't seem suspicious to them. Minus this. I'm guessing this isn't the future you oh, hey. for yourself when you first clapped eyes on that money. He brought him flowers? He doesn't have a sense of humor. His name's Shigur. Yeah, it's a name. Hmm. So was I. Oh, so they are both they are both veterans. Look, you gotta give me this money. I got no other reason to protect you. Why would he go to Odessa? Kill your wife. Oh no. And if you know him, he probably he knows. Or he'll find her. He's not even like me. No, he don't talk as much as you. I give him points for that. <laughs> Use an air gun, shoots that little rod about that far into the brain, sucks right back in, animal never knows what hit him. Oh, so that's what it's called, an air gun. Okay, I get it now. It's still there. Nobody has seen it. I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. No, genuinely, I am. Oh, no. Make it worth your while. Take you to an ATM, there's 14 grand in it. And everybody just walks away. You should admit your situation. There will be more dignity in it. Go to hell. <laughs> All right. I think he came from hell. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, shooting him while the phone is ringing would make sure that nobody even hears that gunshot. Yeah, where am I? You're in the hospital across the river. Oh, That's God. That's nowhere in my life. You bring me the money and I'll let her go. Obviously, that's not gonna happen. Can I ask you again how you come to be out here with no clothes? I got an overcoat on. Are you jacking with me? Oh, no, sir. Don't jack with me. <laughs> but he is wearing clothes. Come on. You know, uh, people come in here without any clothes on? No, sir. It's unusual. She don't want to talk to you. Yes, she does. Put her on. Well, look, I want you to meet me at the Desert Sands Motel in El Paso. Because I'm going to give you the money, I'm going to put you on a plane. Oh, no. Why is this other guy not running away immediately? He gave the Mexicans a receiver. Do you see me? Of course not. That dude just fell by himself and, you know, uh, went into cardiac arrest. <laughs> and then walk, slowly walk out of the room. We are 90 degree heat. I got the cancer. Look at this. Not even my home to go to. The cancer. Yes, thank you. I am old and I am not well. Which bus are you taking? Going to El Paso. Carla Jean, I will not harm you, man. And he needs help. Whether he knows it or not. Can you get those chicken grates out of the bed? What are you talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> Ma'am, I, I know what bear leads to. <laughs> bear leads to more bear. Oh, my Lord. Seriously? Call the police. I mean, disbelief. Yeah, ab about your man. No money in his room there? A couple hundred on his person. Those hombres would have taken the stash. None of that explains your man, though. Uh-uh. He's just a goddamn homicidal lunatic yet, Tom. Huh? Oh, no. He's waiting to see who walks in. <laughs> the man is like the boogeyman. My God. What little I had is long gone, and there's bills of plenty to pay it. But I gave my word. Oh, you gave your word? You don't have to do this. Yeah. We'll always say the same thing. <laughs> but he's like, I'm a man of code. He's compelled by his nature, I guess. Oh no. Call it. I knew it. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. I was just waiting. I knew it. Whenever movies do like this crossroad weird camera angles, I know the guy's just about to get hit. I just know it. Oh. Uh, Mr. Wee. Get a bone sticking out of your arm. Now. It's a lot of money. Take it. <laughs> Take it. What is wrong with you, boy? Take it. You didn't see me. In the dream, I knew that he was going on ahead. He's fixing to make a fire somewhere out there in all that dark and all that cold. And then I woke up. Written for the screen and directed by Joel Cohen. Wow. Oh, it, it's a novel. Okay. I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know it was a novel. That's it. Hmm. 
Can someone tell me what happened to the money? <laughs> if you can comment below and tell me what happened to the money, I'd really appreciate it. Um, other than that, oh yeah, the the the, the, the dude uh, I kept, I, the dude I kept, the sheriff, it's Tommy Lee Jones. That's his name, right? I'm like I've seen him in so many other films, but I just I can't think of them right now. Javier Bardem as Anton is just amazing. Even uh, the Oh, oh, the dude is called Josh Brolin. That's the dude who plays Thanos, huh? L Llewellyn. L that's his name? Llewellyn Moss? Yeah, I'm just seeing the cast. Llewellyn Moss. Ah, Josh Brolin. That's the dude who voices Thanos. Wow, what a fantastic film. Imagine this is not the kind of film that I would typically enjoy. Like, I'm not into, like, these kinds of movies, but because of the way the story is told, the villain, the way the story is paced, it's just really good. I think I'd give that what like a like a nine out of ten, yeah. But uh, I think the part for me that hit me the most, weirdly, you'd be surprised to know the part that hit me the most is when Javier Bardem's character Anton goes to kill the wife, and like it's over. You didn't have to go through it, and then he's like, "They only tell me you don't have to do this," yeah. And it shows you that even though he's like a killer, he sort of like has a code to his killing <laughs> and he's like a man of discipline even though he's a psycho you get and uh, also the fact that you know like that girl like it went like this uh Llewellyn died uh, the Llewellyn's wife died then Llewell L Llewellyn's mom died and so it was like tip 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 like a whole family like that going on um I feel like there are much deeper themes to this movie but on a first watch I've really enjoyed it and uh, you can just drop me your own thoughts and uh, any background story about this film because i've never read the book if you've enjoyed my reaction make sure to smash like and subscribe that air gun thing as well <laughs> if you can tell me more about it that is like a very curious weapon and uh yeah i guess uh, recommend more movies like this i'll see you in the next one